Welcome to this fifth new video tutorial. We're going today to create a keyboard, a virtual keyboard on the screen so that we can select the keyboard just by, uh, not the key, we can select, uh, not the keyboard, we can select the key just by blinking our eyes. Each letter, um, for example, each second will light up and then move this to the second letter. When we find the one that we are interested into, we blink our eyes and the letter will be selected and pressed. And so let's first see an example on the, of the keyboard. I'm going to shrink my screen this way. No, uh, I did a mistake. I'm going to put myself small on the screen okay this is the keyboard we are taking this as a, uh, example this is a windows 10 keyboard so we're going to draw on OpenCV something similar but we are only going to use mostly the letters the space enter shift i will see what else to use probably the comma and the dot and we're going to make the key keys really big uh, that's all for the moment, with this, let's now start typing the code. First, we import cv2, then we import numpy as np. Now, let's create a black screen where we are going to draw the keys. Let's call it keyboard. Keyboard equals to np dot zeros, and let's. Uh, let's define the size of the, the keyboard. For the moment, we just say 1000 of height, 1500 of width, and then three channels because later we are going to add some color. So let's make it three channels. And np.uint8. Now that we have this, we can show this on the screen c2.im show keyboard and then keyboard again wait key event c2.wait key zero and finally c2.im destroy all windows let's run this code and we should see just a black screen Uh, now on this black screen we're going to start drawing the the keys uh, let's make it let's make each key 200 by 200 pixels so first we draw a rectangle let's make a comment um, keys first we're going to draw a rectangle see to dot rectangle we're going to do, draw the rectangle on the keyboard so keyboard the first point is going to be to uh, no zero and zero because we're starting from the top left and second point is going to be 200 and 200 the color for the moment let's make it blue so bgr it means first one is blue 255 the maximum second and third value values to zero thickness of three we have the rectangle and that's the first thing you can see the rectangle we can start adjusting it uh, as as you can see the border goes outside so even if we make the board thicker on this zero zero on the first it will go out going uh, versus top left and the same is here let's improve this by doing something let's define x and y here x equals to zero y equals to zero we define the width of 200 and the height of 200 so let's change the first value the first value we want ah, and i forgot the thickness thickness equals to three so each time we create the rectangle we want to keep in mind the thickness of 
with uh, borders so let's do it this way we use the first the first value is the x plus the thickness let's use just th to make it shorter uh, i'm going to comment this one like this thickness the same for the y it's y plus th while in this case it will be the x the second point will be the x will be x plus width in this case minus the thickness width and the y will be the same x uh, y plus height minus the thickness and thickness will be here th so that later on if we change any values here the rectangle will be uh, proportion proportion to what we are doing and so you can see that now we can see uh, we can have proper rectangle now that we have the rectangle we need to put the text inside let's put some letter and so let's put cv2 dot put text we're going to put the text on keyboard the text let's now put the letter a the position position let's say 20 and 20 font face font letter and then we're going to define it later font scale I have no idea let's just say 10 and the color again we're going to use the blue one 255 0 and 0 and thickness uh, 4 and later we will change it we need to use to define the font that we want to use we're going to define it here font letter equals to cv2 dot font hair shape plane I will use the first one that I found and let's now run the keyboard uh, the letter A is too much on the top you can see there is something here let's change the position so it's too much on the top so let's change this, the second values to put it more down second values so higher counting from the top let's make higher values of 100 and uh, we should see it somewhere in the center not that much we can manually put the keyboard the the a in the center of the rectangle or we can use another function which is we get the size of the text and then based on the size of the test we can automatically found the position mm. so let me see first we need to get text size let's go after the triangle text size it, it's equals to cv2 dot uh, get text size and the text will be a font face font face ah, font leather font scale 10 and thickness 4 to get the text size we're going to to use the same parameters that we use in cv to put text as we're going to use the same parameters let's uh, put them in a variable so that we can use them we change once uh, it changed for all of them so uh, keys let's say let's comment here to have more organized text uh, text settings let's put it this way font letter must go first as we need to use it for all of them now we define the text equals to a so here we can change text and text the this is the font scale font scale is equals to 10 and font thickness font font th equals to 4 so we change font scale here and font thickness the same here font thickness and font scale 
having this said, let's see what text size uh, gives us. We print text size. Let's run the script. And we see 104, 92. It's a list with uh, an array, or at least we've inside another list. I don't know, to be honest, what is 52. I know that it is width and height, 104 and 92. So let's uh, take them. From the text size, we need to take the first value. So we have width, text, and height. Text is equals to. We need to extract both these from this list, list of a list. So it's text size zero. With text size zeros, we take the first index. So we take this one. Once we take the first, we need to go deeper again, take again the first one for the width and the second one from the, for the height. So let's do the first selection at the beginning. So we say here, we take only the first. So if I print text size, uh, if I print text size, no, okay, I did a mistake here. If I print text size, we'll see 104 by 92. Now that we had the first selection, we can do the width is the first, so 104, and then the height is the second. Text size, one. We have the width and we have the height. Now we need to put them in the middle. So let's take a look at our keyboard. We know the width of this, we know the height, we know first point, and we know second point, top, uh, top left first, and right bottom the second. We need to find the center where to put the text. So the text should be here somewhere. And for the text, I guess, that we need to find the bottom left point. So for the X to find that point, we need to sum X plus the width divided by two. And we find this center, then minus X divided by two, I guess. Let's see, I, I did it before and no, I don't remember exactly. Text size, so we have uh, text x is equals to width which is the width the rectangle minus the width of the text why do i see it this way okay because i'm i'm calculating this before having the width uh, text width minus width of the text and then divided by two and all of this uh, must be an integer because you cannot divide a pixel into if the pixel is uh, 195.5 it must be either 195, either 196. So that's why you have to be integers always. Plus uh, plus x, which is the first x that we define of the rectangle. Then text y is equals to, is the same operation. We change the width with the height and x with y. With uh, height minus height text plus y in this case it's not minus but it's plus uh, let's see why let's see first with minus what we get now that we have the center for the text text y and text x let's put it this for the center text x and text y In this case we are starting the center position from the top left point so the text is going to take this square from first point, second, third, fourth, 
we are drawing the text from the first point up left, but the text must be always drawn from the uh, bottom left. So we found the top, the the left point, and we find we need to find the bottom and not the top. That's why we need to use plus height text. We press start, and we see that we get proper center of the letter A. Let's draw now second letter. We have the letter A already. So for the second letter will be the rectangle in a different position. Uh, I need to draw again the rectangle. So I need to put it, let's say here below, instead of X zero and Y zero, it will be X will be 200 and y 200 no well, y is zero so we're going to draw it we're going to draw on the same line on the same axis uh, sorry on the same y but different axis so we're going to draw it here the the second letter so y the same the x plus 200 so plus the width of the, the rectangle same here 200 200 and then uh, zero and that should be it and the same for the letter but uh, it will be it will take for us too much to do this each time we we have all the page full of our code so let's create a function to simplify everything so that we pass some uh, we pass the only the positions and it, it, it and the letter indeed it's going to draw everything so we can say this way we eliminate the rectangle here okay let's define letter this is the function and we all this part select and then tab so now it's inside the function once we have the function we want to give the position and the letter and that's all so position will be x y and and letter let's call better the function draw letter or, or even this way okay let's leave it this way who cares x y we can delete them as we're going to pass them through the function and the letter is going to be the text so text is equals to okay instead of letter we can just say text and we can delete this one and so let's let's now test the function we say letter zero zero the first letter it will be a so let's run the script and we have the a letter 200 and zero will be b and on the same line 400 and zero will be c will be C and we can do it all this way for the first line then for the second line we change uh, the second parameters from 0 to 100 and 400 and so on this is the beginning of creating our keyboard of course there is still much to do we need uh, uh, we need to simplify still the function we need to change the color because this blue looks really ugly and we will see that going on in the fair in the next videos and for the moment this is all